All right, good evening, guys. It, the time is 03.22, New York local time. It is Monday, July the 24th, 2023. And in this video, we're going to cover an ICT uh, bullish breaker block with standard deviation projection example, along with um, understanding our times of the day. Okay, guys, so what happens from 0200 to 0530? What is that time? Okay, this time right here. What is 0200 to 0530? All right. If you don't know the answer, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to pause the video and, and maybe go back through some of my old stuff, Michael's old stuff. Uh, I know you're not going to do that, but in any event, guys, this is the London AM session. The Frankfurt Stock Exchange opens at 0200 and the London Stock Exchange opens at 0300. And then the first two and a half hours of trading after the London Stock Exchange opens uh, traditionally is the London AM session and then it really continues on from there but but just I just call it these three and a half hours that's the London AM session from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange open up until when uh, the London Stock Exchange really goes to lunch um, so the London uh, time frame is the second uh, most often it's the second most volatile session of the day right so there's Asia London and then New York and obviously New York will typically have the most uh, movement in the day. That goes without saying, right? But uh, London, London is the second most time. So uh, the ICT breaker block is a high, low, high, low pattern. It's an ABC pattern, okay? And one of the ways that you can do it, use it, low, high, low, is you can get long during the leg higher if you've properly identified the bullish breaker and some other factors are working in your favor. So number one, we see that our last high was at 2220, right? Whenever Asia makes a high like that, that's very dubious, guys. You, you can pretty much rest assured most of the time uh, London's going to run that, guys. Uh, you really should not ever trust a high that comes in at 2220. Prior to New York Open Midnight like that, that high is very dubious. So when you see that and then you see an ICT bullish breaker, uh, it's a very high probability setup, guys. You cannot trust a high that comes in at 2220 the prior day. That's, that's not usually going to stick. In fact, I've really, I, in all the time that I've spent trading, I've never seen a high at that time of the day stick. Uh, it's pretty much always going to be ran. Um, okay, so with that being said, one of the ways that you can use the ICT bullish breaker like you could in this example is low, high, low, and then just get long at the market um, as the price is trading back up through the breaker. You don't have to wait for it to, to trade back down. And in this instance, obviously, it did not. What do we know about the other thing you can do with the ICT bullish breaker? Well, you can take a standard deviation projection of that impulsive price leg. So point A to point B to point C. That point A to point B leg, you can take a standard deviation projection of that and project it higher. So, for example, we see uh, one standard deviation projection took us up to 576 evens, one and a half, 586 quarters. You see a reaction from price there. And uh, two standard deviations or two measured moves takes us up to 596 quarters. Now, the standard deviation projection is good in and of itself, but if you see, for example, a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency sitting up there that confirms the measured move, or you see an order block mean threshold, or a 30-minute SIBI higher, which are all reasonable inefficiencies for price to go reach for, guys, now you're starting to see the tapestry of how an ICT trade is formed. I'm looking at the time of the day. I'm looking at measured moves. I'm looking at an ICT bullish breaker. I'm looking at buy-side liquidity. I'm looking at sell-side imbalance, buy-side inefficiencies, and an order block, guys. Do you see how the tapestry is coming together? all confirming the same thing, which is that price should take out that high, take out that liquidity, and push into that 15-minute fair value gap, guys. So in this example, during the London session, I'll just show you my executions. Um, I did take some drawdown on some earlier longs, but basically I just got long here and here, and then covered as price came up. So you see here and here, okay? So that was the trade guys and there will be more trades today and more setups I wanted to get through but um, I wanted to show you this trade using the ICT bullish breaker concept, SIBI concept, measured move concept and time of the day concept 
and also, of course, buy side liquidity. Okay, guys, this has been a trade example in the London session. Bye-bye.